The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption. Killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district, and I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes, and the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. It's been months since I killed him. Seconds ago, I heard her yelling for her daughter, Emily. Corvo's face going slack with shock. And somewhere in my head, the outsiders laugh. Come to collect on our debt. Did you ever think you deserved to lose your Empress? That a better man took her life while you gaped like a fool? Come on, Corvo. Prove me wrong. has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Excellent. Lizzie has enemies inside Coldridge. If we play this right, she'll be begging to do business with us. Yes, sir. Your tools have been cleaned and placed in the chest over there. I'll wait here until you're ready to leave. After Corvo's escape, it's going to be more difficult to break into Coldridge. They've installed arc pylons, and they're blaring overseer music over the loudspeakers. Our talents will be suppressed until we get inside. I have other talents.
is exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. You don't have to remind me. It's Billy's doing that the Overseers found us. That wasn't Dowd. Dowd should have caught it. And now Witches? He's not the man he was. Dowd. Ever vigilant, I see. Are we leaving soon to Brigmore? Scared, are you? Witches upriver. Traitors in the ranks. And then there's Dowd, who just killed his own apprentice. A better assassin than you'll ever be. I'd be frightened too. Is it time to go, sir? Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players. Gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river Someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall. Or perhaps myself. That after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. Time, Overseer. We sent for you hours ago. There was a problem with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. Anything else is off limits. Understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. I'll be gone before you know it.
gate. This mask will fool and our client. It's used only by personnel trained in proper sprinting. No one knows what actually happened. Didn't they do it? Hamrick drinks and he chose a bad day to sleep in. Morris lost his nerve at the sewer gates. Neither of them knew anything. They died to satisfy the Lord Regent's office. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John and his bottle street voice jump for Another night, another patrol with you. Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. Everyone knows that. He got one. They him off. Cut. Right through there. You can't miss it. None of the guards that went in to question her came out. Uh, I'll be careful. <coughs> you are free to go. This is the Abbey's problem now. Do whatever you need to do. I'm not sticking around. And don't leave any, what do you call it, black magic line around. I don't want to be cursed or anything. What happened here? Across the yard and through the door. I'm not the saying interrogation. Easy. But and I don't forget. Uh, once the cell doors are off limits. You don't get caught How? around. In the first right. rush, I take two, three, before they get their swords out, pick up their pistols. I'm a good shot. How? I'm better than most of the people here. It's a fact. If I keep moving, I can take the rest one on one. It'll be bloody, but it's doable. You're not thinking. If a fight even starts, you'd be finished. When that alarm goes, your odds are just about zero. Not me. I just keep quiet. Slip by when no one's looking. Take as long as it takes. You'd have to be Corvo, in other words. Seer finishes. I don't want to think about it.
everything right? Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? All right, we'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? One of the guards? Nothing? All right. Corporal, use the hammer. That's right. The smaller one. Huh. Can't really tell if she felt that. Don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears? What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! say your sister was? Blow off. Head directly across the yard and through the door. It's in the interrogation room. And don't forget, the rest of the prison is off limits. Don't get caught wandering around. Right. Enjoy your dark cell in the meantime. Master, just you wait. You messed with the wrong guy. <laughs> Shut up, was it this time? Claims he overheard one of the others talking, planning an escape. Started shouting for the guards. Uh, he'll report it. Then I'll go easy. Tonight, another night, another patrol with you. Shout if you see him.
I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? Bug someone else. This controls all the cell doors.
more big rat but swarms? <laughs> Once the cell door is open. You? How? I take two, three, before they get their swords out. Pick up their pistols. I'm a good shot. How good? I'm better than most of the people here. It's a problem. fact. If I keep moving, I can take the rest one on one. It'll be bloody, but it's too hard. If the fight even starts, you'd be finished. When that alarm goes, your odds are just about zero. Me. I just <laughs> Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. device or arc pylon is for use only by personnel trained in proper imprinting
Lizzie. I'm not telling you shit. We... who? Doubt. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now belongs to someone else. My second-in-command double-crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's Ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born 
strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And the Riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Breakers Lord ain't yours! We got here first! Bring out the geyser! We've been here eight years! We ain't leaving! Tonight. Go down, you pig! Somebody give me a hand! We'll sleep in the river mud tonight! Tangle with a dead eel. Stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was the hard part. But I had no idea how to open it. Hammers? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers will break it open? Explosives. Sure. The sound brings everyone running. Then we gotta share. And what if it costs some eels, huh? There must be a way. Think what could be in there. You know what would be funny? If it wasn't locked. What? Of course it's locked. Look at it. You mean you haven't even tried it. What do you think I am? Stupid? Ah! <laughs> 
Welcome to the Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale, or the Black Market if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. What can you tell me about Delilah? 
I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned... frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo, and damn Delilah. All these rats, crawling all over everything. How did it pass me by? All the others are down with the sickness. Lizzie enjoyed it. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. I can still see him squirming for air. Yeah, how's he gonna top that? Who would have thought? Maggot Montaigne on a boat in Dunwall. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath 
for dumping cop. Perhaps the Undine is no different. If you ever see a man set on fire, what does he do? <laughs> he jumps in the water. Very funny. I hear Lord Shaw's making his way to the party by boat. There's the boat. Wakefield's probably keeping himself below decks. Whatever Two I do to him, came here looking for work. it will be a Crying mercy compared warehouse. to what Lizzie has in mind. Would you tell me? Couldn't stop talking about Kay's dad, and that's an enemy we don't need. What the fuck are you looking at? Blow off, Chaffer. is assuming control of the dead eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night.
That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. The ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. Do that. Just because he can do strange things doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. Not long ago, I watched you kill an empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Cold Ridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder, are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over, and when the music stops, we all fall down.
quiet in the city. Almost like it used to be. I'm almost out of bullets. Don't look at me. Try Jerome's in the apartment up there. I heard he was a cheat. Let me just a few. And get caught out when the dead eels come across the canal? No thanks. Every man for himself. Had her pride. I ain't touch her. are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Corvo Otana with her. They weren't wearing no clothes. Keep your hat on. I was just asking. Just because you're in charge of the gate, it don't mean the rest of us are idiots. Yeah? Well, since you're such a genius, it ought to be real easy to see who it was. So go check it out. Fine. I don't know why you're worried about nothing.
keep this position. He says to bring the bottle, I bring the bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. Which end of a knife is for stabbing? Not much else. What's that? Oh, stop complaining, old man. I'm giving you a legacy. What were the Hatters before I arrived? I'll tell you. A shadow of their former selves. The butt of numerous jokes, in fact. Why did the Hatter piss in his own hat? What did the Hatter do with his last bullet? And so on. The answers aren't worth repeating. Leadership. That's what was missing. But with the embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Bottle Street Boys of all things. There now. You mustn't become agitated. You'll inflame your arteries, which will only cause you unneeded agony. I can ease the pain, but only if you promise to behave yourself. No? Ah, that reminds me. I must see Jerome about getting more ox rush. I'm fresh out. Choke and die every last one. 